Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So we got a quick tutorial today on creating a website presentation. So you'll be able to take screenshots of your website or a client's website and embed it into any sort of device like a laptop, you know, a desktop, a, a tablet, a phone. And this is what we'll be creating. And it's very quick to, uh, very quick to do this. So here it is. So we're just going to be doing the, uh, you know, a laptop here. But with this technique, you'll be able to do a mobile uh, device. Um, but let's go ahead and just roll right into this and we'll talk about the first stuff that we need. So I found a transparent MacBook image off of Google and you can basically find any device that you want as a transparent image. Just go ahead and type it in and you'll get what you're looking for. But the first thing we really need to do is we need to take screenshots of our website. So I'm using an iMac here and there's certain ways, you know, you should learn the uh, shortcuts for taking screenshots because here I can, uh, you know, select a certain range for my screenshots. And uh, what I want to do is probably I want to kind of zoom out of my browser here and try to get as much as we can um, in this single screenshot so we don't have to do too much, uh, you know, stitching up and after effects. So I went ahead and I took two screenshots of this. So I took, say, a screenshot from here to here all the way down to the maybe to our most re recent tutorials. And I would take that and then I would scroll down and I would take another screenshot and try to grab everything from the side from, you know, above our most recent tutorials and I would take the rest of the screenshot for the rest of the website. So I took two screenshots here and once you have your screenshots or your video or whatever you're trying to do, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to After Effects and I have my two screenshots right here. I'm going to go ahead and drop these into our comp and we need to go ahead and stitch these up. So uh, let's go ahead and hide one real fast to see. Okay, so this is our bottom one and this is our top. So we'll put the bottom one on top. And we'll go ahead and move this down to where we can. And we'll go ahead and hit T on our keyboard for opacity. Let's go ahead and like lower the opacity on the bottom image a little bit so we can kind of see where we can need to put this. And let's go here and just try to match this up the best we can. And that's matched up perfectly. And we'll go ahead and put the opacity back to 100%. And now we have this beautiful thing. All right, and then once everything is matched up, what you can do is select all your screenshots and you go up to layer, pre-compose, and we'll call this one screen. And we'll click OK. Then what we need to do is we need to go into the screen composition and we need to go up to composition and click on composition settings. And to the height here, we need to go ahead and just increase the height until we have you know everything in the frame here, which is like this. Once that's done, you're good to go. So let's go back to our tut comp. So let's go to our Mac layer here and let's scale this down by a little bit by hitting S on our keyboard to bring up scale. Let's bring that to like right there where we're happy. And let's go to our screen layer over here and let's scale it down by a little bit until we kind of get that in there, maybe like that. And let's hit P on our keyboard for position and let's kind of like lower this here. And that should be fine for now. And what we need to do is maybe we'll hide this and we'll go to the rectangle tool here. And let's go ahead and like just grab like the frame of our computer like this. So we'll do something close to that. And let's go ahead and copy the mask and let's delete it and go to our screen here. And let's just paste it in there. And I probably didn't have to do it like that, but you know what? I, that's how I did it. And let's go ahead and position this to about like right here. All right. And let's go ahead and put the screen layer underneath our uh, computer layer here at the bottom here. And let's go in back into our screen comp. And what we can do is like hit P on our keyboard for position. And we can kind of lower this stuff down. And we go back here, kind of see where we're at. So we can kind of go ahead and control the position kind of like this. So this is be right at the top here and that's just fine. And what we can do is maybe go up to layer new null object in our screen comp and let's go ahead and parent our screenshots to the null here. And we can hit P on our keyboard for position, maybe move forward in time a little bit, maybe go to one second, click the stopwatch for position and we'll move forward in time to like five seconds or something. And we can go ahead and animate the scroll up kind of like this. We can go over here maybe we can scroll up a little bit more. And there you have it. So now we just animated the entire scroll in our computer and it's perfectly in there. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and select both of our uh, layers here and we'll pre-compose it again. And we'll call this one uh, Mac or something. You should call it your computer layer, doesn't matter. And now we have full control over this uh, quite easily. So now let's go ahead and talk about some of these other ele elements I've created. But that's basically how you do this in a nutshell if you know if this is what you were looking to do so let's go ahead and create like a new solid so if you, you know we want to make this look nice you know for a client or something i don't know so we we'll kind of call this a background here kind of call it a background that's that's weak but 
So let's go up to Effect, Generate, Ramp, and it's Gradient Ramp, but we used to call it Ramp back in the day. Um, that's not too long ago, but let's go ahead and put our black point right in the middle. And let's, kind of, let's set this to Radial Ramp, and let's go ahead and select you know some nice colors. I like orange for this tutorial, so I just kind of selected like this nice bright orange here, and then I went down, you know, I selected the orange here with our end color, and I went back in here and I kind of made it darker, kind of like this, and then I went to the Y position of the end of Ramp, and I kind of just lowered that out, kind of like that. And it's a little bit too orange for me, so let me kind of just readjust that. You know, that's that's not too shabby. It's not how I had it in the original demo, but that's fine. So what we can do now is maybe duplicate the background here, and we, we can select the uh, rectangle tool, and let's kind of create like a, kind of like almost like a desk, sort of feel like the floor, and this is like the background. And what we'll do is go to our end color here, and we'll make this even darker. And maybe we'll grab our other color here and make that a little bit darker too. So now we're kind of creating some like extra depth into this image and it looks pretty cool. And then what we can do is maybe position our Mac over a little bit. What we can do is go up to Effect, Perspective, Drop Shadow. And let's go ahead and set the drop shadow to 180 degrees. And we can maybe increase the distance by a little bit, maybe increase the softness by a touch and maybe increase the opacity. So now a little before and after. It's very subtle, but you know, it kind of looks like we have a drop shadow in there. And maybe what we'll do is uh, scale up our Mac layer a little bit. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And we'll put that right there. And now what we can do is hit P on our keyboard for position. Maybe go to like one second, add a keyframe, go to the beginning of our timeline, and we'll just kind of animate this off frame. Make the last keyframe an easy as keyframe by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And now we can kind of get into adding some text if we want. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the rectangle tool. And we'll just draw out like a rectangle mask like this. You might need to click on the fill at the top here and turn off the fill. And then set the stroke to white, and we'll use like five, you know, five px, five pixels for our stroke. And now that's there. And what we can do is go to Add on our shape layer, and we can click on Trim Paths. And what we'll do is open that up, go to the start, keyframe it, move that keyframe a little bit further, and set the start to 100%. So now this will animate on. Make the last keyframe an easy as keyframe because that's what I like doing. And We'll go to the text title tool here and we can type our text. So if you want to do some promotional stuff for your website, you can go ahead and type that here. Uh, one thing I like to do is kind of create like a little bit of an offset between the text here. So I'm using Fruitaker here for our font, but I'm going to make this one, the top one bold and the bottom one a little bit thinner. So, you know, f emphasis on free, you know, because we're shady salesmen and oh, not really. I'm not selling anything. So I don't know how I am, but what we can do is select both our layers here, go to the line and center these up. And so far, so good. Maybe I will move the free tutorials over a little bit because it's a little bit awkward. That box might be a little too big, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and click the text title tool here. And I'm going to use my effects and presets. And what I'm going to use is go down to uh, animation, animation presets, go to the text, go to animate in, and I'm going to use straight in by word. And I always say, you know, the presets in this uh, software that comes with After Effects is amazing. You should always experiment with them. And that's what I like to do. And what I'll do is hit UU on my keyboard to bring up all the affected parameters on this image. And as you can see, kind of, it's going to come in kind of like this from the side. But the problem is, it's already here on the side, you know, inside of our comp, and we don't want that. So I'll go to the position here, and I'll kind of move this off like this. So now it'll kind of come on just like that. And we'll make the last keyframe in it, uh, an easy as keyframe by hitting F9. And maybe I'll make this a little bit, shorten this up, and we'll move this over. So now it comes in perfect. That is absolutely beautiful. And let's go ahead and enable motion blur for all of our layers. And let's go back into our uh, computer layers here and enable motion blur for that and then go to the screen and turn the motion blur for that animation as well. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And it's pretty much just like our demo. So I didn't need to show it again, but I wanted to. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. And if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for more After Effects tutorials. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.